Hi folks, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to work with uh, string functions in ClickView. So in a previous video I showed how we use an expression in a list box and we, we said only field with um, square brackets around it to give the values within that field when we selected this. So for example, we select um, sales, we get all the sales, we select quantity, customer. However, what happens if you have a field name like this product underscore ERP underscore code and you want to see it in the caption instead of this here you want to see it as this over here so we're going to use a, a couple of different string functions to try and uh, get what we want so what we do is we first select a uh, product ERP code we create a new list box we'll add the expression as before actually we just copy it On the one over here, Control C, expression, and just paste that in. Click OK. So now we have the same list box here as this one here, but we want the, the caption to be like this. So we went to the properties and entitled say we'll do it in steps so the first step is to get the um, the text before the first underscore so how we can do that is use uh, subfield so we went to the uh, expression say equals subfield and it's field in this case and the delimiter is underscore and we want the, uh, the first field within that. So we click OK. We've now got product. So what we can do is we can say we want to capitalize product. So it has an uppercase P. Again, if you click apply. So so far so good. Now we want to use the same print the expression. We'll copy that. We would say and, and we want a space between that. So we're effectively concatenating what we want to see in the caption. So we paste, but instead of two, we'll say minus one because we want, and I'll just click OK, we want to see the last part of the string, which is code. So we're using the subfield underscore minus one will give you the last. Um, instance after the underscore. So we click apply, we can see product code. Then we want to see ERP. So we can use a, another string function and say and space and uh, text between. And we can use field because that's our field, dollar field, comma underscore comma which is the first delimiter and comma underscore comma that's the second delimiter so now if you just click OK so you can see we've got product code ERP so ERP doesn't look uh, too good so we can use upper upper text routine field click OK and now we can see product code ERP so we wanted to we could say put quotes around ERP so we'd say and and within the single quotes have a close parenthesis now click OK and you can see we've got product code ERP product code ERP everything's fine but if you clear our selections and we select on customer you can see it's picking up the open and close parenthesis um, and with the sales order ID, it's picking up the original field plus the same field with the uh, open and close parentheses. So how we can get around that is if we select product ERP and go into properties, you can wrap that around an if statement. So we say if field
sorry, if left field, if left field comma one equals p comma. So basically, we're going to look at the um, product ERP code or product code or product underscore ERP code. And we're going to say if the field, basically if the first letter of that field begins with P, you want to do the following. Else, just give us the field. So now if we click OK. Nothing has changed, but if we select sales order ID, we just get the sales order ID. If you select customer, we don't get the parentheses, and same with the other fields. So, of course, it, it depends uh, on how your fields are named. So, this is a bit weird where you have product underscore ERP underscore code. This one has spaces in it. So, again, it's just trying to help out where you can use string functions to get the result that you need. Um, I hope that helps and I'll see you next video. Cheers.